Hello and welcome back to another epic tutorial. My name is AJ Sharma and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go dark mode. I'm not a big fan of the purple dashboard that comes with Resolve 17. Get rid of the purple kind of uglyish color and go for a nice matte gray color. Stay till the end because I have a bonus tip for you I know you're gonna like. So let's get into it. Okay, so if you wanted to make your dashboard more sleek and go into kind of dark mode and not the kind of purpley weird kind of looking color uh, that comes by default. Uh, it's quite simple and super quick. So what you want to do is head over to the left where it says DaVinci Resolve, click on that and then go down to preferences. And what we want to do is click on user and stay on the UI settings and you'll see workspace options. Great. So by default, um, there's something called use gray background for user interface. That's checked off, okay? Now what we wanna do is click that on and then you'll see use gray background in viewers. This is the viewer, right? This, this bit here, and that's already gray, but we don't want this purpley thing. So we're gonna make these two checked on and then save. And it says, preferences updated, changes will take effect the next time Resolve is started. Great. And the next time you start DaVinci, um, it will change the whole thing to gray, kind of dark mode. Five minutes later. And now that we've restarted the program, you can see the gray uh, color is much more dark and sleek. And also the purple kind of weird color is gone, which is fantastic. And just before we get into that bonus tip, if you're enjoying this so far, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and um, okay, let's go, let's go. For another cool tip, you see at the bottom, by the workflow tabs, there are labels, right? Deliver, fair light. What you can do is right click on one of the icons, and then it says show icon and label. We can actually turn those off just to show icons only. So you, essentially you get rid of the labels and make it much more sleek and compact. And there you have it. You have now successfully gone from purple to dark mode and also made your workspace a lot more cleaner and much more efficient due to these two tips. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I've got so much more content that's gonna be rolling out in the next few days, and I know you're gonna like it. So subscribe, comment below if you want another video on something that you actually are stuck on and need help with. I will help you with that, no problem. And uh, until next time, peace.